Hey everybody, welcome back to Lessons Learned, the podcast where we aim to turn our experiences into your wisdom. I'm Randy, here today with Chris, Jared, Joe, and Talon. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about travel and kind of places we've been, places we want to go, and the experience we had in those places. So Chris, why don't you take it from there? Yeah, thanks a lot, Gandalf the White. How's it going? So, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Should have Gandalf the Red. <laughs> Red, Red beard. beard. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so... You know, we've all we've all pretty much traveled quite a bit in our young age, which is something a lot of people don't do, and it's it's nice. You know, we've got different experiences, seen the world, so maybe some more than others, Randy. But yeah, it's been pretty fun, and uh, you know, it's just experiences you get that you wouldn't even think of when you're even younger, can't financially do it. So we're gonna be talking about our favorite places we've been to and uh, why we like them. This will be like a really good. Uh, feel good episode yeah for just sure. like bring back good memories yeah i'm passionate about it because i remember in tony's episode he talked about just the roundabouts and you know yeah. the reminds of england so stuff those like little, that. it's always those little things yeah yeah sweet so yeah. uh let's go joe joe oh hell what's yeah, good brother. dog what's good homie <laughs> yo <laughs> what's your favorite place you've been to where have where have you all been uh so i i guess i'll start obviously with, with uh randy um, I think we've both been to Colorado recently. Hell yeah, brother. We both had hell yeah, brother. We both had amazing experiences out there. Um obviously me and you, Chris, just went out to go snowboarding and hell had yeah, a brother. blast out there. <laughs> hell yeah, brother. <laughs> had a blast out there. Uh snowboarding has become uh one of my favorite things to do now. I know it's something that you've loved to do for forever, so now I've kind of followed in suit. Um, yeah, you Randy, remember when it? we, you know, grew up together, and I would always be like, "Joe, come snowboarding with me," because I'd love to go snowboarding with my brother. I think it'd be really fun. And you're like, "No, I'm playing video games and Minecraft." <laughs> and I'm like, "Joe, come on, it's really fun." That's like, like, "No, cool. I really don't want to." Nah, I don't, I don't recall this. I don't recall this at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Minecraft though. He still plays Minecraft. I have the money anyway. to spend. I do. I <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, I've fallen in love with it. It's, uh, so being out to go or being able to go out to Colorado, you get the mountains in the background and you're, you're shredding the gnar and you just get to see the beautiful view in the background. And it's it's just an amazing time. I love it. Uh, pictures don't do it justice. But uh, Randy, Not you were just out there recently too, right? Yeah, uh, over the summer. And I got to tell you, actually, my experience coming in was really cool because I drove I drove across to the country to come in. And when I got there, it was kind of later at night. It was really rainy. So I couldn't see the mountains when I first came in. So I got to my friend's house where I was staying. And uh, the, the very next morning when I woke up, it was nice and clear out. And like I, I looked out the back door and the first thing I saw was, was actually Norad Mountain. Um, but, you know, just this huge mountain range. And I was just like awestruck. It was amazing. Yeah, you you yeah. stayed in what was that Colorado Springs, right? Yeah, yeah, so Fort beautiful Carson. area, absolute Gorgeous. beautiful area. Colorado has a lot going for it. Between Colorado Springs, you got the uh, the Rocky Mountains. Literally, just everything out there that you could want is beautiful state. Would highly yeah. recommend. I want to go to Boulder. Have you been? To, you've been to Boulder. You've never Challenge, been to right? Boulder. You've been there so many times. I know it's like a second home, but I've never <laughs> been to Boulder. It's Boulder is an interesting place. I like it. Yeah, mm. there's a lot of good hiking areas and stuff like that, and cool. They have like a cool little street called like Pearl Street and everything. Cool, Pearl. Like, yeah, Pearl Street. There's okay. a bunch of cool group trips trip? there. Group trip. Group Let's, trip. Podcast group trip. trip. Yeah. Yeah. Business trip. Business trip. Yeah. yeah. Tax, yeah. Tax business trip. Business trip. We can expense it. Off on our tax return. Yeah. <laughs> yeah ta- but um so let's talk about your favorite places in colorado so you obviously like the springs area i really like the mountains so i think my favorite mountain is my favorite mountain is by far breckenridge um but yeah i've been to Vale, i've been to keystone i've been to breck i think only three yeah yeah about you guys um Um, i I have colorado once where'd you go uh <laughs> go ahead. Right here, <laughs> i went to colorado once it was like two years ago um just went hiking because i'm not really into snowboarding i'd like to get into it sometime but uh just went there for hiking went to boulder uh colorado you've been Springs. to boulder yeah i've been to boulder. <laughs> duh everyone's been to boulder bro except me i guess not me and uh i think it was like golden state park golden something state golden park. Oh, like I've heard that's town really of Golden. Cool. Oh, really? Like with yeah. the amphitheater there, there, and all I, yeah, that? There was a town called Golden, yeah. I've been yeah. once, and I was only there for like half a day. You probably went to Golden. Went hiking. 
Yeah. Well, it, Golden's like right at the base of the mountain. So like there's probably other stuff that you did like right around there. Mm, okay. And the quartz factories in Golden. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, among a lot of things. I just went hiking uh, to a lot of different places. Uh, stayed in Denver and then just each day drove somewhere else. I think probably my favorite hike was um, Sky Pond. I think I think it's like a 14er. Really? Yeah. Damn. It's pretty good. Sarah's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like a 14er. No big no, it's deal. Nothing. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a light walk. <laughs> yeah, the view was amazing. <laughs> yeah, sick. Joey, what's your... Uh, so my original question was kind of geared towards you. I'm sorry, Jared. but <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> what was, what's your favorite mountain? You've only been to Breck, huh? I've only been to Breck, but um, obviously I'm having another trip here soon. I'm going out yeah. in February, and uh, we're going to hit Breck again, and then Vail is on the schedule as well. So it nice. should be two days in each mountain. Vail yep. should be fun. You should do like the night skiing or night snowboarding and everything at Vail. Oh, no, do they do Keystone. it there? Keystone. Uh, no, Keystone, Keystone does, it. Yeah, that does Keystone night. Does yeah, it. sorry It's not that. worth it, though. It's no, too icy. Okay. <laughs> you can't see anything. No, it's, it's, it's actually it's, crap. It's, it's cool to do it once, I think. But I would also, never do it again. Where me and Joey grew up in New Jersey, we had a mountain there, and they did night skiing. Yeah, it was icy, but they were blowing their own snow cons- constantly because it don't didn't really you couldn't rely on snow like you could in Colorado. But right. so that was nice. So it was always like somewhat you can't call it fresh snow, but it was like not a sheet of ice. Yeah, and it was always lit, and they were open till like ten. So you literally got like six hours of night skiing almost. So it was dope. That's impressive. Yeah. yeah. I just did that actually at a bay, place called Bear Creek out here in Pennsylvania recently. And yeah, same situation. Blowing snow was not bad at night. Nice. nice. Wait, Sweet. Chris, have you never been to Winter Park or anything? Nope. Never been, You've to, never Winter been Park. to Winter Park. Winter Park's good. Nope. Don't yeah. even know where that one is. Oh, I can't, I can't explain mm-hmm. it, but it's a good place. Some, uh, one place I do want to go is, oh shoot. What's that one in Vancouver? Whistler. I want to go to Whistler Creek, man. That that mountain is huge. Have you ever been to Vancouver? Yeah, I've been to Vancouver. Yeah, not uh, is it Whistler Creek, Whistler Park, one of them. Whistler, I'll just call it Whistler Mountain for snowboarding. Yeah, whatever, whatever it's called, Whistler. I think I'm gonna Google it to make sure I'm not an idiot. Yeah, we should do a group trip. Introduce me to snowboarding. See me fall on my face. Yeah, Yeah, me too. Oh, Jared, I'll I'll be right there with you. I'm used to skateboarding where I can you know bail and like jump off my board, and this it's like I'm gonna try to do that and just go down. (laughs) Usually, if it's if it has to do with a board, I'm I'm building something, so I don't usually ride on them. I usually cut them in half. Yo, make your own <laughs> snowboard. Yo, that would, would be sick. Win. All right, it's just Whistler Mountain, boys. Whistler Mountain. Oh, nice. Sick. Yeah, is nice. Um, so what's the v- what? I was gonna say. So, what's your uh, favorite place that you've been? My favorite. I've been a lot of places. I'll I know that. Off real quick. All right, let's. Uh, so I've been to Vancouver. Been to Seattle, been to Portland, Oregon, been to both Portlands, really. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'll start from the West Coast. So, <clears throat> we did Vancouver, Seattle, Portland, Oregon, then Denver, Omaha. I've been to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, let's see. You've been to Vegas? Been to, Oh, yeah. Been to Vegas. Been and to, Utah. And Utah. <coughs> Damn, I forgot about those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've also been to... San Antonio, Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin. Um, let's see. You went to California, Vol- didn't you? Yeah, you went to oh, California. Yeah, and I've been to Santa Barbara, been to LA. Yeah. Gee, I've been all over the place in the country at least too. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm going to look at a map real quick. And then we recently just went on that trip to the East Coast. Yep. Yeah, you guys Which went you've to already been places. to most of I've been to, been to Kansas City, been to Arkansas, went camping down there. Um, been to Chicago. We camped in Iowa. Yeah, camped in Iowa. Well, that's right over the border. That's it's still kind hey, of count Mexico. it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that Iowa. basically counts as just like the Omaha area. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> been to Florida doesn't count because when I was a kid, that doesn't count. So yeah, I've been I was to North Carolina, uh, Maryland, Delaware, Jersey, PA, all of, all of the Northeast, all of it. So a lot of places. I think my favorite place by far in the country is vermont because it's it's just it's where i feel home and it every season is beautiful so summer doesn't get too hot because i hate summer so it's nice it's like 80 degrees uh winter a lot of snow i love it does get very cold i love it uh and like spring and fall fall in vermont is like the nicest thing in the world like you've you've witnessed that yeah we went on a trip there and it's just beautiful like i remember driving around and jared was looking out the window he's like 
this is a painting. <laughs> <laughs> Literally everywhere you look is yeah. a painting, bro. It is that beautiful. And I don't understand. Like, yeah, it's a little expensive and it's, you know, it's a little liberal-ish if you want to call it, you know, based on your uh, political views. But that doesn't bother me. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Um, I love it. It's yeah, great. So it's a beautiful place. Man. That's where I'm going to move. Like, that is my goal. And specifically Burlington, Vermont, because, you know, it's like Omaha in the mountains. Like, it's a nice little city. You've got Lake Champlain right there. You've got Mount Snow 40 minutes away. You've got Montreal probably, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half away. Probably like an hour and a half, two hours away. Like, there's just a lot to do there. Mm-hmm. And that's what I love. So that is where I'm going to move one day. Is it, like is it still like a big enough of a city where like you pretty much have everything that you need? Oh, it's you not, have everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like a small town where it's like you don't even have a Starbucks or anything. No, like that. they've okay. got. And fun fact, Jared waited for about an hour to get it. That's where Ben and Jerry's is located, dude. Like, oh, yeah. that's awesome. Ben and Jerry's. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, we went to Burlington, Vermont, and I saw the lines like, dude, I'm not waiting for ice cream. He's like, no, I'm waiting, dude. I'm here. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> I've invested too much money to yeah. Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I'm proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> that's a goal Good now. <laughs> so, yeah, those are – Vermont's my favorite place I've been to. And I was lucky enough to have a friend growing up that had a second house there, so I would always go and hang up in the winter and summer. We'd go mountain biking and – and then we do snowmobiling in the winter and skiing and snowboarding. Like it was it was a blast. Um, and shout out to his family. They just let me and Jared stay there for free for like three days. They're like, yeah, house is yours. So like, hell yeah, that's yeah. awesome. That was nicest so people awesome ever. Of them. And you know so, where they're from? Prague. And I'm gonna get into that now because now I'm gonna talk about Europe. Ooh. Oh yes. Where have I been in Europe? Let's see. <laughs> let me pull up the list. So where have you? <laughs> I've where been, have you been everywhere. Overall, or do you just want to talk about Europe? Well, I'm gonna talk about everything. Yeah. But Europe's next. So been to the, I don't want, I was going to say UK. You kind of count it, but been to England, Scotland. So I've been to London, Cambridge, um, some little towns my friends are actually from. So Lincoln, England, not Lincoln, Nebraska, for all you Nebraskans listening, because that place sucks. Lincoln, (laughs) UK is dope. You know, cathedrals everywhere. We could talk about that later and why we love it. But I think Scotland was probably my favorite place in the UK. It was great. It's just beautiful. Awesome. The culture is so cool. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's and it's beautiful. Like we went to Edin. How do you say? It? I never know how to say Edinburgh. 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 Yeah, sure. Like I, I'm gonna trust you because you're, Edinburgh. you know, smart. Edinburgh. Edin- Edinburgh, dog. Yeah, bro. <laughs> so anyway, oh, never again. No, it was sick because there's a city right in the in the the sea is right there. And then there's a mountain you can go hike and overlook the city. Like, it's like in the city. Oh, are you talking about Arthur's Seat? Yeah, I yeah. did that hike. It's beautiful. You get the whole view of the entire city. Yeah, like you look you look east, right? And there's the ocean, like beautiful and like little coastline towns and stuff. And then you look west and there's a city and like yeah. cathedrals and castles and everything. It's so cool. All, it's all like brick buildings or cast, like castle stone and everything. It's like that city's been there for like centuries. And yeah. like those, all those buildings have been there that entire time. Yeah. So if anyone's going to the UK, like definitely hit, in, hit up <laughs> Edinburgh. <laughs> but yeah, England, I want to move to England. If I can live anywhere in Europe, it'd be England for sure. Because there's no language barrier. A little bit because they talk funny mm-hmm. as they probably assume we do. But um. <laughs> Yeah, you're the funny person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you all right? <laughs> so fun fact, when when they say, hey, you all right? It's like, hey, what's up, dude? Yeah. I knew that, but I didn't understand. I didn't know how to answer that. So the first time, so I was like, hey, you all right? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how to answer. <laughs> it, it's so confusing because I went, I, I was with a friend who's never been to England before. And like someone, someone like asked him, was like, you all right? And he's just like, y- yes, are you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. really weird for Americans to like hear that. Yeah, the mm. correct response is like, "Yeah, good, you're right." I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. What's up, man? Same thing. So now I know. Yeah, interesting. So that's where I've been in the UK. I still want to go to Ireland, and I still want to go to Wales. So those are next. But I've been to Berlin. I've been to Prague, and I actually hit up my friend and his parents. I was like, oh, where are you guys from in Prague? Any recommendations? Give me a whole ton of recommendations, dude. <laughs> nice. It's dope. Yeah. So pig's pig's knuckle is like a delicacy over there. I, I couldn't do it. I, it's literally a pig's foot, and you like eat between its toes and stuff. Oh, it's my gosh. Yeah, I don't like it. Like, oh, you nasty. I, I, I didn't do it. I couldn't do it. But goulash? Oh, my God. Goulash. What's that? It's like 
dumplings in like a stew like dude it's just delicious i like dumplings you would love goulash oh man and don't even get me started about the beer everywhere but here <laughs> the, the beer, beer like you can't find a bad beer oh no right? and like the entirety of europe like yeah they yeah. love it's, beer it's so good and yeah. ciders like you don't have to get beer you can get ciders which is oh, oh they don't even sell the stuff here yeah the site the ciders in europe are next level yeah like it, oh, I think yeah. here in like America, like we, it, like they got popular in like the last decade, maybe. Mm-hmm. In in Europe, they've been doing it for like centuries. Yeah, and it mm-hmm. shows like their expertise with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I've been to yeah, so I've been to Prague. I want to get to Italy still. Um, I've been to Norway. Did a tour across uh, across <laughs> across Norway. <laughs> Quit. So I landed, and this is how I'm just gonna talk about my. You know, it's a small world. So I I think I've talked about it before. Uh, I f- we flew into Oslo. Me and Tony Stark was with me. Nice. And um, so we landed there. And I hit up my friend who I used to work with at the gym back in Delaware before, you know, while I was going to college. And she's Norwegian. So uh, her nephew was there and her sister was there. I was like, yeah, meet up with them. I was like, okay, sick. So I met up with her nephew and he gave me a whole tour of Oslo and like everything in like clubs. He brought me to this like famous, not famous, he brought me to this bar. It was like underground. is super dope, dude. And uh, they have like this shot they take. It's it's like that's like their culture is like some sort of alcohol. I forget what it was, but oh my god, it was paint thinner, dude. It burns. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like straight drugs and yeah. glass. <laughs> but it was, no, mel- it, was, it was it was just melted down drugs. Yeah, oh probably like like never mind. I'll stop. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's where we went to Oslo, and then we took a train across the country. You know, uh, Voss Water. The yeah. glass. Yeah, I went to Voss. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. it was dope. Waterfalls was it? everywhere, beautiful. It's beautiful. And I went in the middle of winter, by the way. So if you've never been, I mean, Norway is a cold country, but mm-hmm. I went in the middle of winter. I've never seen so much snow in my life. Oh, like man. It, we were taking a train, and I was like, "How is this train on the tracks? Like we're surrounded by like feet of snow and blizzard conditions where like you can't even see ten feet." And people would like have their skis on the train and just get off. And it looked like in the middle of nowhere. Like imagine getting out into an iceberg and like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> we got to our Wait, destination. Come back. Our camping trip. You know, like that episode of Game of Thrones where like they're walking and looking for the White Walkers and like that dead polar bear like comes up and kills that oh, guy. Oh yeah, dude, it was like that. I was like, dude, you're gonna die. <laughs> come back in the train. It's crazy for you to say it's a lot of snow because you're very familiar with snow. Yeah, no, this was a lot of snow. Dang. Yeah, so we went west. We went to Bergen, Norway, which is on the west coast of it, which is dope. It's like a sailor town. It's almost like Portland, Maine, which I forgot to mention. Well, I did mention all of New England. Yeah, you really like that place, too. Loved Portland, Maine. But yeah, so this place was uh, Bergen, Norway, it's just like Portland, Maine. It's a very, Definitely not uh, to be confused with Bergen, New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a nautical Rest. city. So, And there was like U.S. Navy port there. And uh, I probably shouldn't have said that. But anyway, <laughs> there was... Uh, <laughs> There was like, so Tony went out and just started drinking with some Navy guys he met. He just went to a bar and there were like English people there just to talk to. He's like, dude, this is legit. And he like made friends with them. That's nice. So yeah. Um, and then where else have I been? That might be it. That might be all of my European well, adventures. I know you don't like to talk about it, but you've been to the deed. You've been to the Oh, desert. Qatar. Yeah. Yeah. I've been to Qatar. Have you I been to Greece? I've been to Greece. Yeah, that's a good yeah. one. Been to yeah. Greece. Specifically Crete. Crete, yeah, you can, yeah, it's not mainland, but you know, Crete, yeah. beautiful. Mm. I love it. It's you know poor, but it's beautiful still. Have you been to Alaska? I've been to Alaska, but yeah, I don't count that because I got off the plane. Oh, you were only there for a short amount of yeah, time. Yeah, it doesn't really count. Yeah, mm. but uh, yeah, and I think that's everywhere I've been, minus Japan, which we've talked about a lot already. You've only been to Okinawa. Don't call that Japan. Okay, sorry. I've been to Okinawa. I've been to Okinawa and I've been to Korea. Talons been like, don't Greece you even... I haven't been to Japan. It is a very different culture. Yeah. Okinawans do not like to really be called Japanese. Yeah. Really? They're more... Because even even when they're a de- like their own country, like they were more closely related to China. So it's a very different culture. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, I've been to a lot of places, boys. We can yeah. say and this. And I'm not done. So, you, you know, <laughs> we talk about traveling as a passion, so... That shows you how passionate I am about it. Been all over. <laughs> so, Talon, yeah, we mentioned Japan. You've been there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a couple yeah times. you. Let's move yeah, on you to you. Idiot. Yeah, I've been <laughs> to oh, mainland Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Yeah, so I haven't really been around the United States as much as Chris. Um, even though that's now, I, I kind of. I kind of want to after hearing like some of the places you've been to, dude. Because it's like a whole world. Like people, 
like when Brit Chris came here, he's like, you have so much in one country. It's such a big country. There's yeah. so much here. Um, and so like, of course, I'm from Colorado, so I'm used to the stuff that like Chris, um, and like Randy and Joe kind of talk about like the cool things. Like, there's always like the skiing. There's always the mountains, the hiking. Um, I love Colorado. I love the nature of Colorado. Not always the biggest fan of all the cities and everything, but um personally so i'm a little bit weird so i love the nature of colorado but like i honestly really like the southwest like, really yeah it's really surprising but like when i so like as a kid i always went to arizona like um have you been to antelope canyon i don't i think so you would you would remember i don't it's been i so like when i was traveling as a kid i didn't like really like take a list of like things that i've done it's like mm. this giant red wall canyon yeah, I believe so. Desert. Like a thin oh. corridor with a I canyon. And so. their sand I believe so. I hate you then. Floor. I believe so. It's been a while since I've been to Arizona. Okay. Since I was a kid, since I was like in high school and stuff like that. Um, I love Arizona. I love I love seeing cactuses, like or it's cacti. cacti. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I love I love just seeing like it sounds weird. I just love seeing just desert and like dirt <laughs> and like really? the little like i love seeing cacti and like prickly pear ca- prickly pear cacti cactus i'm gonna say oh, cactuses yeah. but like <laughs> because it's so i don't know i just love it prickly um, pears just cut them open eat some it's so sweet and so good you and then like cactuses can you yeah prickly yeah pears, you, prickly you pear you can it's fruit that grows on them um yeah. I've, I'm gonna Google this because you're I've never gonna heard stick of this. your tongue while you eat it though. Even even like with a cactus, you can technically cut it open and you can get water from it if you really if you really wanted to. I but thought like, it was like poisonous yeah. to you. No, I mean some probably are, but like uh, you can eat this bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. It. It's like it's what? Like fruit, it does not man. look like food. No, but also <laughs> like uh, it's Las like Vegas passion fruit in a way. Yeah, but Las Vegas and Nevada. So I was in Vegas for only like three weeks but i didn't i only went to the trip once i'm not a fan of it but the nature in vegas like around it you have so many like national parks yeah death valley is only like what 40 minutes away yeah it mm-hmm. death valley is so cool i loved it it is really um, cool i felt yeah. like i was gonna die dude. we drove through it yeah didn't we? Going yeah. To Cali. yeah i thought it was so cool like just being there it's just like flats it's just like it's just flat why do I, you like that i don't know why it's so cool to well me. you it's like snow cool. and talon likes uh warm yeah we're yeah I love, like, here, in apparently. the mount the mountains around vegas as I, like they're not as big as the rockies or anything like that but it's still cool no i agree i hated the strip just like you said but yeah there's so much to do and yeah. the hikes are great yeah the hikes like i went to like red rocks and like in vegas and stuff like that it was so cool like i i, I think i prefer climbing mountains like that versus like the rockies I don't know why. I think it's just more fun. It's just it's more flat, so like I can have more fun with it. Like I'm the type of person like when I go hiking, I'm just like, ooh, that's a cool rock. I'm gonna go climb that. <laughs> like, and I just like start running up it. It's like, oh, this is like a little like it's like there's like a little waterfall like at the end of one of the hikes. But it was like just like it was like enough of a slope. If I got a running start, I can try and climb it. <laughs> and like I'm that type of person when I go hiking. It's like, can I get up there? <laughs> Dude, I'm the same way. It's, it's like, like a it's, it's definitely off the trail. It's off the trail, but it's like I want to see what I can do. Smart. It's Have so you- it's so fun to me. And I went to I went to Redwoods in uh in. In California. Oh, you went with and, Jake, didn't you? Yeah. And uh, like yeah. I didn't I didn't see any of the cities in California, but I went to Redwoods and I got I was it was so cool. It's like I can live in this tree if I wanted to. <laughs> like we we just like went inside we just like went inside the trees and like we just like we had like r- like our water bottles and like pine cones and stuff like that. We were like, let's just throw it out. Like I don't know, like it's like the little like it's the little things when you go traveling. It's like we just like threw out pine cones and it was just, like it was like we made a snapshot of it giving birth and like it's just, like I just <laughs> stuff like that just made me so happy. It's like this tree just throw a pine cone out of it. It's, it's a just boy. like the things that that bring out your inner child yeah exactly it was so yeah. much fun and like i i kept one of the pine cones they're huge like the pine cones it's like the biggest pine cone you, you'll ever see it'll like take up like it'll, it'll it'll it's like maybe like a foot tall like this pine cone it's so cool oh to gosh. me um and it's like you uh, like jared said it's like it brings out your inner child when you go traveling and everything mm-hmm. because it's like all you're just surrounded by like nature and like all these new things especially if you're with friends yeah it's like you can make fun of anything like anything could be fun to you it's like a, a, the world is your toy yeah it's so great it's awesome um and i've never been to the east coast i want to after hearing like chris and you going there and how beautiful it mm-hmm. is the only place in the east coast if you can call it the east coast is florida i've been to florida yeah. quite a few times um not the florida, biggest fan. Like, doesn't count <laughs> yeah i was gonna say it's i mean it's like the southeast it's like it's kind of its own thing yeah um you can but come visit I mean, me in dover Flo- delaware uh no, <laughs> maybe, no. Don't maybe, go, maybe someday. Don't maybe someday. I'll, I'm open to everything, um, but I'm not probably gonna like go out of my way. 
um unless like unless it's like really just to see you he's gonna be like what's there to do here i'll be like yes talon i'll meet you somewhere as long as it's not new jersey as long as it's not (laughs) okay yeah um but florida I, i do like florida i like the i like the beaches and i like the i like humidity um so i like that and texas i'm not a big fan of texas San Antonio, yep. San Antonio is an okay city, but I haven't really explored the rest of Texas. People are nice in general. Um, they could be racist at times. Like I don't want to like yeah. say like all of them, but like they're like being around like with some of my family and stuff like that. There, because a lot of them are are like Hispanic, and like they definitely got looked at a couple times like differently than like some of the other people I was with. Um, so like they don't like it. So like if I went if I ever moved to Texas, my family would never really visit me. <laughs> I would say don't judge Texas based off of San Antonio because everyone who I know who is from Texas talks about how much they love it. So I think maybe like Houston would be a nice area to visit. Dallas seems like a cool area too. Yeah. Um, I, like honestly, like there's like the barbecue there always looks good to me. I don't like Mexican food there, but there's some aspects of Texas that I really like. Um, and I've never like, I don't know. Like Texas seems like a good area. Like there's a lot of stuff around there that you can do. Like you can go down to Mexico, like whenever you want to and stuff like that'd be kind of cool. But that's pretty much all I've really been in the United States. I've never been to Canada, never been to Mexico. Uh, I have been to Kauai uh, and I'm going to go to Hawaii again in just a couple of months. But I, so I, I I didn't like Kauai as like that much when I was like a kid, but I think as an adult, I'm going to go on more adventures and it'll probably be cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I'm like Chris. I love Europe. Europe is absolutely amazing. England, Scotland, all of those like everywhere in the UK is great. Uh, Edinburgh. I, lo- I think that's my favorite city I've Bruh. ever been to. And then I've only been the other, only other countries I've been to in Europe was France and then C- Greece. Um, in France, I only went to like uh, I only went to Paris and a couple other like small cities. But I love I love France. The food is so good, and people always mm. say that people are jerks in France. I have to argue. I think they're so cool because, like, in Europe, uh, I don't know. Like, family businesses are such a big thing versus like here where it's a lot of corporations. And it's like in in France, like you go to a restaurant, it's just like it's just family run businesses, and like you can tell it because like the, you can tell like the how they converse together, like the employees there, and like it's like little old ladies that's like making your food. They're, just, they're so sweet. I love I love France. And the food is I was so gonna good. ask you. I was gonna ask you about that because I've definitely, I've obviously never been there, but I've definitely heard that they hate Americans in France. Yeah. So when we were there, like when we were like getting drunk on like the on the on the trains and stuff like that, we because we knew that we were being a nuisance, so we just like would randomly yell like "Make Canada French again." <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> that, that that was our slogan while we were there because we didn't want to be like those Americans. That's just like loud and annoying. For Greece, I've only been to Crete, which if, if no one knows, because I kind of specified it. Crete, it's a pretty big island and just in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. Um, it's a very nice place. It's like the vacation destination in Europe. Like people go there from like any European country and go there in the summer. In the winter, it's everything's from most close. It's just a vacation spot. Yeah, it's but, like touristy and it's like a party island. Yeah, especially like the beaches in the summer and everything. Yeah. But I mean, that's cool. I was there in the winter, so like I got to meet more of the locals and like not see like that party side of it. Yeah, I've never seen like the party side of Crete, but the nature of it because Crete's that that type of place where there's it's an it's an island, but there's mountains and like probably ten minutes away is the ocean. It is so cool. Like you can go hiking, be at the top of like this mountain, and like you can see like the ocean all around you. It's so it's such a cool and like beautiful area. They're pretty cool hikes, like the monastery hike. <clears throat> that was really cool. You like walk down this mountain and <coughs> just see all these like old monasteries <clears throat> and old buildings that are like falling apart, but it's just <laughs> really cool. That's cool. Yeah, like this ancient Greek mythology time it's like you're walking through history. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, haven't, got... I haven't been there long enough to do hikes. I've only been there for a few days at a time. Oh, but... dude. Next time you're there. And then when you get to the bottom and you get down to the water, crystal clear. Yeah, well, I've been swimming in the Mediterranean before, and like that is yeah, that's sick. Like it's, you get, it's like, it's tw- I don't know, like 20 feet deep, and I could see the ripples in the sand from the water current. Like yeah. That's how clear this water is. Crystal. Yeah. Yeah, the weather the weather is amazing. Like even in winter, it's pretty great weather and everything. And the food, oh my god! Yeah, so Chris mentioned it earlier. So Greece is kind of like a poor because you, yeah, you kind of said mentioned that they were kind of poor. Poor, it it can be a, like it can be a poor country, and especially like in the winter when the like tourist season's not going on, they they definitely don't have a lot of income streams. 
so food is so cheap for like three dollars you can get a giant plate of like euro meat and stuff like it's so good mm. oh hell yeah brother yeah and turkey <laughs> sauce but, but do they have panda sauce. express <laughs> i sure hope not. joe if you had this food oh, you'd be like panda express who's that <laughs> so yeah. speaking of grease and food i have to mention greasy the food? salad that i ordered when i was in in greece i ordered just this salad i forget what it was actually called but i thought it was going to be like you know some leafy greens and then maybe some like feta cheese and stuff on top no it was like literally sliced peppers sliced onions and like a block like a literal block of feta cheese on top yes (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> so I, I like that. I took two bites of the cheese oh and I'm like, God. bro, I'm glad this is so cheap because I'm not gonna eat this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. The so Greece made me love cucumbers and tomatoes. I used to hate t- tomatoes especially, but like Greece, they're so fresh there, and like they put them on everything. Like because like Greek salads is cucumbers, p- peppers, the feta cheese, and like p- tomatoes. I, I, tomatoes. I would get that too. every meal. I Never. love it. And, like, a little bit of, like, olive oil on it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. I love olive oil now. I used to hate it. I used to just use it for, like, cooking. But now I, I'll put olive oil on, like, random things. I love what? it. I olive made, oil, salt, and tomatoes. I yes. made homemade tzatziki yeah. sauce uh, two nights ago. And pita. Oh, did I it saw it on the snap. Did yeah. it have enough garlic to make it burn? No. That's how I like my, my tzatziki. <laughs> like, so much garlic where it kind of, so, like, tingles your tongue. I, I could add more. I could go <laughs> and add more. Um, it, no, it was, it's really good, actually. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, and talk about Europe. The pastries, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Everywhere oh, yeah. you go, it's so good. And pastries yeah. in Japan, too. No, they're even better in Europe. I don't know. Uh, I think they're... I've had Okinawan pastries, which are like, eh. I think, I think they're pretty comparable between Europe and Japan. You're high. I, I would agree with, with Jared with this. <laughs> You're high. Well, Japan you haven't been to mainland pastries. Japan, though. That's what I'm saying. I haven't. Yeah. You've been, you're talking about mainland? I didn't know you've been to mainland. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. yeah. The pastries um, are so good. Yeah, Dude, are. I remember going to like, when I was in England, I would just go down to, I forget what town it was. It was by Cambridge somewhere. But, um, oh, it's Norwich. And uh, we just go to the, what's that Italian coffee chain out there? Not Starbucks. Um, uh, I pr- cannot remember. Pret a Manger? No. Oh, shoot. I'll think of it later. Yeah. But, um, Dude, I would go in there, get get myself a nice latte and a chocolate twist. Oh my god. <laughs> mm, so make me good. hungry now. Well you talked about Nothing a lot can beat food. donut sticks from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of food. <laughs> yeah. So I want to see more of Europe. Uh and I wanted to go on a Europe trip this past summer, if only COVID wasn't a thing. But uh I also love Asia. So I've only been to Thailand, uh, and then Japan multiple times. And then I guess kind of Korea. I, I I've landed there and like I spent like hours there and communicated with like the people there. But Japan, that's where I want to live in life. And I've talked about this before. Uh, Thailand was great. I love Thailand. It's pretty cheap there. The ocean's beautiful. Um, the people are super nice. Um, but Japan, it's just like on another level for me. So I love yeah. the culture and every and like just the history in Europe and everything. But the people in Japan just like make me envious like they are <laughs> such a they are such a nice people and like they everything is so convenient there their train systems are next level you never have to own a car if you live in japan unless like you live like out in the country like really far out in the country yeah japan is just so convenient with their train systems and even like little things such as their convenience stores you could live off those things Dude, i get melon soda <sighs> oh melon soda oh, yes <laughs> <laughs> and God. And even just like Seven Elevens, their coffee there—it's only—it's only like it's only like a dollar twenty, and the gr- the grounds are freshly uh, roasted in the coffee machine and then ground in the coffee machine, so it's fresh cup of coffee for only like a dollar twenty. Yeah, it's so it's so great. Damn. And, little, and you you can buy like full on pastries and like just everything in Japan is just mm. it's next level. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's pretty much. I mean, that's pretty much all I've really been. But I mean, it's pretty much opened my eyes because now it's my passion that I want to like travel, and I it's my goal in life now to basically just retire as early as possible so I can just every single month basically live in another country if I want to because that's my passion now. Yeah, yeah. Oh that's yeah, a, that's a that'd be awesome. Goal to have. <laughs> it's yeah, funny really. because you like the Japanese culture so much, or like the people. They're, they're, to me, there's just such a big language barrier. 
Did I say that right? I felt like I, whatever. You said <laughs> it weird. There's a big language right. barrier there. And it's, and you're driving on the wrong side of the road and everything like that. Like to me, Europe is easier for me to comprehend and like the flow of language and everything like that. Like how you like sentence structures and stuff. I like Europe a lot more than <clears throat> I, I love Japan, but Europe is my Japan for you. I think the language barrier kind of adds to it because it kind of makes it not exactly more exotic, but it makes it more unique in my eyes because like in Europe, it's just like, Oh, it's like, it's like us, but just slightly different kind of thing. But in Japan, it's just like, it's literally 180. They're completely different yeah. than us. Yeah. And I, I like a little bit of comfort in uh, Europe. Like it's nice. Yeah. And, and like little things in Japan, I enjoy, but you don't like the arcades where it's like flashing lights and like, there's always like noise noises going on. It's too loud. It's <laughs> yeah. just too loud. But yeah. I like it. I like the stimulation overload. I, it, <laughs> it like brings out the happiness in me. It's just like yes, it's like a party everywhere we go. <laughs> guy who throws pine cones out of trees. I was just about to say that. <laughs> Earlier, right, so I was Jared. just envisioning Talon just like in the desert with his hands on his hips, like breathing, and he's like, ah, comfort. <laughs> yes, <laughs> nature. <laughs> so, uh, Jared, we haven't gotten to you yet. Yeah. Um. I've been to quite a few places, a lot similar to you as well. Uh, so I'll start in the States. I've been to California, uh, Washington, and uh, Utah, Nevada, um, and then a lot of other places in the middle, and I've been to Ohio. I'm from Ohio. Uh, States you never I heard of. I haven't been to Florida. I've been to Texas. I've been to places on the East Coast. I don't really want to pick and choose and like actually think about all the places. Sure. So the places that stood out to me in the U.S. are Utah. I really like Utah. I think, I mean, I could imagine myself living there if I wanted, you know, because mm-hmm. I went to all the state parks or all the national parks there, and it's just beautiful. Um, and then I thought Santa Barbara was pretty cool. I love Santa Barbara. Yeah, I would. I think I'd need to spend more time there. We got to sleep on that yacht. Yeah, dude. dude. The, was... the connections. So speaking of small world, just the connections you make. We're in Vegas with this one guy, and he mm-hmm. goes, "Yeah, dude, my uncle uh, runs this yacht for uh, Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett." We're like, "What?" <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, you guys want to go party on it and stay on the weekend on it?" I was like, "Yeah." The next day, <laughs> we have the keys. Like literal, we have the keys to this yacht. It was on <laughs> like sleep. We got this yacht. It was on the Travel Channel. Like it's a, it's a catamaran yacht out there. In and, Santa Barbara. You could literally Google it and find it. And, and usually it costs people like several thousand dollars yeah. to rent it per hour. Yeah. And, and his, we just got to stay on. Oh, my God. His uncle it. tossed us the keys. He's like, hey, have fun. We're like, what? Open bar. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, yeah, open bar on the yacht. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was sick. Oh, Damn. my. Yeah, that was one of the cooler experiences of my life. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that was cool. Uh, I'd like to go. I'd like to explore more of California because there's just so much. I really want to go to the redwoods and throw pine cones out of trees northern <laughs> northern california northern california surprised me i thought california would all just be like kind of like la like all the stuff you see on tv kind of thing yeah but northern california like it's just beautiful like we saw like the like, i think it's like halos like the little like cl- like clementines or whatever we saw like the farms and like just vineyards and stuff it's so pretty and it, especially like when you get north I don't like. I, we saw some interesting characters. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's a, it's the the nature is really cool in in California. The people are yeah. weird. Nature is nice. Yeah. Uh. Mm-hmm. I mean, just yeah. The people are weird. We ran into a straight up like neo Nazi. Like he yeah. had swastikas on him. You're we like oh get in the gosh. car, get in the car, get in the car. Stay away from him. Yeah. There's what? a lot of strange people in California. Yeah. Anyway. Wow. I want to go to Redwoods. I don't necessarily <laughs> want to experience that. Yeah. Um, you want to yeah. get that giant pine cone? <laughs> yeah, dude. That would be so cool. It's on my bucket list. Um, then other places, <laughs> Vermont. I really like Vermont when we went there. And then uh, Portland, Maine mm-hmm. was super cool. Mm. Um, I want to try more of the fish food there. Like yes. More lobster. Seafood. Uh, fish seafood. Food. Fish, fish food. Is fish, food. <laughs> fish, food. <laughs> fish food is what you feed. Give me a little fish. canister with like a lot of flakes in it. Fish food. Yeah. Let me know how that tastes. I know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> There's this really cool store called like Pet Smart. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh, I go there for all my snacks. <laughs> no, more lobster. We'll Tide pods? No. <laughs> no, no, no. No, lobster. We didn't get that. Were you you were with me in Delaware when we went to um we got all that seafood, right? Or no, that was my cousin. Mm. Dude, before you got there, me and my cousin and my buddy Greg just devoured seafood. 
I love yeah. it. Sorry. Yeah, continue. I like seafood. Fresh yeah. seafood. Yeah. But now, uh, I don't know. Those are the my favorite places in the States and nice. Colorado. I really like Colorado. I need to go back there. Mm. But speaking of fresh seafood, Japan. <laughs> I went deep sea fishing in Japan, and that was a great experience to be on the water and just like you don't you can't see land there's no land in sight and to just like catch these fish and then just fillet them up and just eat it that's crazy. so fresh wow yeah Everybody, like 10 yeah. minutes after catching it even like the sushi there people who like sushi in the united states they don't understand like no. fre- like eating no. like fresh tuna literally cut off the fish and prepared mm-hmm. oh my it's gosh. An, it's insane it's so much flavor. also isn't sushi here like like not traditional sushi it's like very americanized no, it's, it's, for the it's most pretty part much the same just not as fresh it depends on like yeah. what you get yeah but because in japan like a lot of like the specialty rolls and stuff are kind of like well yeah in japan like weird. they're not gonna eat they're not yeah. gonna eat sushi with like cream cheese and like a bunch of sauce on it like that's just disgusting to them yeah <laughs> i hear when i hear cream cheese when i'm getting sushi i'm just like i'm already that's already a no for me yeah hmm. yeah so so the seafood and uh i've been to mainland japan too and that's really cool. Um, it is a lot of stimulation. And that's one of the things I don't necessarily like about it, just because it's just so loud. And yeah. <laughs> I'm naturally an introvert. And yeah. I'm just like kind of just super overwhelmed by all of that. But it is really cool. I do understand what Talon meant by um, like kind of being out of your element in a way. It adds a little bit of uniqueness to it to the whole experience and then mount fuji is really cool uh i, I didn't actually get to hike it <laughs> but uh i got to see it from the bottom and sick <laughs> yeah we didn't so we didn't have time. started from the bottom and you stayed <laughs> we didn't have time to hike it and then make it back in time to catch the last train yeah but the train ride there was really cool mm. and we got to ride on a boat on this lake at the bottom of mount fuji so, I mean, that was a cool experience, but maybe I'll hike it one day. Did you did you explore that town around Mount Fuji? It's a cool yeah. little town. Yeah. yeah there's, a bunch of really hot, there's a bunch of hot springs around there and stuff, too. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Got to chill in a coffee shop and just look at Mount Fuji from the window of this coffee shop. That's awesome. Was, that was very different. Yeah. I think, you know, one thing we've all experienced around the world is, like, coffee. You can get coffee everywhere. Yeah. And it's, it, it's just relaxing. Like, you go to a coffee shop, no matter where you are in the world... And, like, you can just sit and chill and take in the views from, like, inside the glass. Like, look outside the window and just really soak up where you're at. It's I love good, doing that. It's a good way to, like, break through, like, social barriers, too. Like, you can have a cup of coffee at, like, just a random cafe anywhere in the world. And you can try and, like, strike a conversation with, like, random people. Yeah. Like, in, in France, I would just, like, we would just go to, like, coffee like coffee shops and just get espresso. And, like, they would, like, I don't know. They would just, like, want to talk to you. And I mean, same with like drinking and like, it's so cool to like go to bars in other countries and see who you meet. Like in Japan, like I met so many like Australians and like random people and like even just Japanese people getting to see like the, that culture, like when they're drunk and like actually wanting to talk to you. (laughs) It's so different. It's so cool. Or like in England, they love drinking in England. Oh my God. It's so cool. Like just going to like one of the local pubs and like you see like the regular and like they'll talk to anyone. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I say like forever, whoever is traveling, you know, whoever's listening, like wants to go to some of these places, you know, go do that. Go to a bar. You don't necessarily have to get drunk, but like go have a beer or two and go sit down at a coffee shop and just like soak it in, man. It's it's great. Every every country I go to, I go to a coffee Eat. shop because it's it's just it's something nice to do. It's a universal thing. Mm-hmm. Everyone yeah. drinks coffee pretty much everywhere in the world. <clears throat> yeah. Hell so, you. But yeah, Japan is definitely overwhelming sometimes. Yeah. 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 But, so where's your favorite place in all of the world? So uh, there's a recurring theme here. I really like <clears throat> England. <laughs> <laughs> nice. England. I would live in England in a heartbeat, man. So this too. England place sounds pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I cool. think, you know, uh, Cambridge is a really cool college town. That's my uh, favorite city. And the drive there is really beautiful, too. It's yeah. just so green. Yep. And rolling up to Cambridge and then just seeing the sign that says, uh, welcome to Cambridgeshire. Like, I just think that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It, it reminds me of Lord of the Rings in a way. <laughs> and Dude. then, so all right, Frodo. Hiking, hiking Arthur's seat reminds me of Lord of the Rings. Yes. If you haven't done, have you done that hike? No. Dude. Where, where is it? 
in Edinburgh. Edinburgh. In really? Scotland. It, yeah. it, it, it just looks overlooks the city. Dude. It's oh, like, is it? Um, if you, I think I might have done that. Like, at the top, there's, like, a rock wall. And, like, people bring these big rocks up there. No. And it's super windy. It no? is super windy. It's, but there's, yeah, like, a rock. Windy. There's, like, a there's like a compass rose up there kind of thing. Like, carved into metal on top of a rock. Hmm. Dude, if you went to Edinburgh, you've, you've seen it. Yeah. It's it's actually, a, like, a, it's a dead volcano. Is oh. Yeah, it, it's kind of cool. Huh. Oh wow! Anyway, didn't mean to cut you off. It's just Lord of the Rings themed. It was so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't like so. I like Scotland, like being at the top, of, like Arthur C. I don't know why. It's like the l- really little things, but I love like the random. Like I love moss. Like when I see like mm-hmm. moss on like on rocks or like when it's just like on the ground instead of normal grass. I like that. Like all of England because it's always like it's wet. raining and like yeah, it's wet and there's not sun. So there's moss on like on all the roofs of the houses and everything. I love that aesthetic. Yeah, it's really nice. And I mean, some people don't like that it's so gloomy, but you can't deny the fact that it brings some sort of like a different kind of beauty to it. Yeah. To the whole environment. Yeah. It's awesome. Definitely yeah. have to prepare though. Like I took vitamin D when I was there because I did not get enough sun. So I was mm-hmm. like depressed a little while <laughs> until I decided to take some supplements. Yeah. I remember our buddy Spencer was out there for a few months um, and he bought a sun lamp for his apartment because the apartment they gave him uh it faced inside the parking garage and like the parking garage was like it was like imagine a square and the parking garage was in the middle oh my god that's where his apartment faced so there's no sunlight at all so he bought a sun lamp and taken vitamin c pills or yeah d pills sorry yeah that's so if you ever go uh just be prepared for that <clears throat> yeah yeah uh yeah uh, also a little town called ely I don't know if either of you went to the yeah, so train station. Yeah. To Ely Cathedral. Mm-hmm. I haven't been to the cathedral. Dude. I've seen your pictures though. Yeah. It looks dope. The cathedral is just massive, bro. And we we took a tour of it. And some of these buildings, like, you just wonder how in the world did people build this? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's Before incredible. technology. Yeah. It's incredible, like raising up like two ton beams. And just like balancing them and all of this, like it's it's hard to fathom. But the, yeah, the architecture, then, even like just go like seeing like all the brick houses and everything, it's so nice to see that versus like here in the United States where everything's just like made out of like drywall and wood. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I like, hate it here. I, I, yeah. It's so sad. Yeah, it's just like it's so everything's like feels artificial here. And to for me. some reason here in Nebraska, they don't use red brick. Everything is like clay colored i don't know why as if it couldn't be any more boring they just take the red out of all the color <laughs> mm. sounds like a pet, pet peeve right here <laughs> it is <laughs> i hate it dude because which time everything's dead it's everything the color or like the buildings the grass the dirty snow it's all the same gross color it's disgusting <laughs> dude i hate it here i don't I just appreciate want to go to your negative energy right now sorry omaha's a fun <laughs> time you make the best of it but i want Omaha. more color <laughs> yeah totally agree and well i've been to scotland and edinburgh and london as well uh went to a distillery in scotland Ooh. it was really cool dalwini distillery uh mm. that was just a different experience drinking scotch in scotland it's <laughs> it's so fun <laughs> yeah you have it really to is you're the type of person over in scotland let's uh drink some scotch <laughs> you have to do it though <laughs> yeah you really do yeah oh so good it was fun i yeah. love it so, Randy, I think we haven't uh, haven't hit you yet, have we? Yeah, you know, save the best for last. <laughs> I better yep. like New Jersey and uh, Colorado. <laughs> yeah. No. All right. <laughs> well, listen. I think you're. I think you'll be a little surprised on my. I'm actually a little more traveled than you think. Okay. Um. So, stateside wise, I've pretty much done the entire East Coast, usually through like college baseball. Um, down you know Florida, pretty much up to like New York. I haven't really done um new england which i really want to do because just everybody says how cool it is up there Mm -hmm. so i have to do that sometime but uh traveling out like toward the west i I did indiana nebraska colorado um i'm not gonna count all like the drive-through states because i didn't really stop in them for any reason uh i would say my favorite place i've been stateside you know, not to beat a dead horse or anything was Colorado. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to talk about that too, too much because we kind of, like I said, beat that horse to death. (laughs) And, uh, you know, it was, it was really cool. Like I, I really couldn't believe the beauty. Like, I mean, we have mountains here 
And uh, my my big takeaway from it, like when I came back home and I got back into the quote unquote mountains, I was like, these are fucking baby mountains. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's Appalachians no, wanna... versus Rockies. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can't you can't compare. Yeah. I mean, some of the Appalachians are cool. Like if you go to certain places, like I actually did a hike up in New York a couple of years ago. It was in New Paltz. Mm hmm. And there's this real, it's a really cool hike. It's, it's not easy because there's a lot of like really rocky terrain. And then at the very end, you actually have to like climb up a crevice. Oh, I want them to do that. It's got that wooden broken down ladder. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that hike is yeah. really cool. What's and that then called, when like, you get lemon up to gorge the, or something like that? Or something? Uh, the lemon squeeze. Yeah. Lemon yeah. squeeze. Yeah. 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 Yep. So when you do that, when you get to the very top, there's like a tower at the top. And uh, when you go up in the tower, you can see. New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, and I want to say like one other state. Hmm. I forget. It's cool. Um, but like you can see like four or five different states from the top, and like the view is just incredible. Like it's the, it's the best view you're gonna get in like this area. Yeah. I would say. Yeah. And it's such but, a cool, yeah. unique hike. Like you're literally climbing through a crevice. Yeah. No, that part was really cool. Yeah. Um, and then there's just like a lot of cool, like little places to stop, like off the trail where like, you know, Oh, let's go over here and like climb up on a rock. And like, you still get like a really cool view. It's, it's basically the closest thing to the Rockies you're going to get without going to the Rockies. Yeah. Duh. So that it's was the really Rockies. Cool. <laughs> nice. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so that was cool. Um, I d I've done some cool things like down South. Like I gone to Florida a couple times. Uh, I've been again, all through the South, like playing baseball for school. So those don't count as much because we weren't able to do as much. Uh, South Carolina was cool because we usually would go there for about a week or, or so at a time. And then that way, you know, we'd play our games, but then we had plenty of time to go, like, do other stuff. And, dude, just the food is so good. I was yeah, about so, like, to bring up South not, Carolina, actually. Um, yeah. What part dude, of South listen, Carolina were you in? We were in Myrtle Beach. Okay, nice, so like, nice. I know, I know there's like the, you know, all the negative connotations of Myrtle Beach, but like, listen, it's still a really cool place. Uh, we went to the boardwalk there, which is really neat, but like the food down there and like the food in the South in general, cause we ate in plenty of places. Um, listen, you're not going to get skinny off of no. it, but <laughs> it sure. is freaking good. It's so good down there. I was in Charleston for two months yeah. for training and oh my gosh, I love that place. Yeah, dude. So, I mean, you're. I, we, we talked a lot of food. And listen, a lot of stuff you guys said sounds good. Sounds pretty healthy, too. But you can't beat just fried stuff, fried and more stuff, <laughs> oh, and dude. then fried again. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, so good. It's Triple great. Fried. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> but. Dude, I think my favorite so, southern dish is cornbread. I love bro. cornbread. <laughs> and not that box shit. Yeah, no. The good <laughs> stuff. Yes. But. Yeah, so outside the United States, I haven't traveled too much, although I do want to travel more. Uh, I was actually supposed to go on a cruise this year. We were going to go to Puerto Rico, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, and St. Martin. But then that got canceled, so that sucks. That day. So I'm hoping maybe like next year we can do that. I've heard Aruba but, is absolutely amazing. Yeah, that's what everybody said. My my one coworker actually did her honeymoon there, and like they did so much cool stuff. Yeah, it looks cool. But... And uh, so where I have been, I've been to Belize, Cozumel, uh, Grand Cayman in the Cayman Islands, and I've been to Honduras. And I would say, and like the experience that I really want to talk about was when I went to Belize, because Belize was absolutely gorgeous. Dude, I forgot you've been here. So this is like a part of the world none of us have been to. Yeah. 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 Wow. So like Belize was amazing. Now, granted, like number one, Belize gives you a really good perspective on living in the United States. Like that was my number one takeaway because it is a true third world country. So like when you go around there, it, it's, it's not nice. Like the residential areas are not nice. Hmm. You just and like, like when you're in the comfortable walking around in a way, a little bit of that. And a little bit, just like you kind of get a feeling of like, wow, it's, it's so much like even like the bad areas back home are better than this. Yeah. And it gives you wow. perspective on everything. Even in, even in France, like in a first world country, like France, they have so many refugees there. Like you walk around yeah. even like Paris, like underneath the Eiffel tower, there's, so, there's just like a bunch of refugees with shops there. And it just hmm. gives you perspective. Yeah. So like, that was my, my big takeaway from that was like, definitely gives you an appreciation for where you live because it's like, you could have it a lot worse, but 
what was really so we we ended up going cave tubing while we were there, which was awesome. What is that? So, so basically, like there you hiked. We hiked like two miles through the through the jungle, pretty much, to a spot where they had like you know rafting tubes, and then you rode you rafted down the river and you went like through an entire cave system. Dude, that's sick. That's dude, awesome. it was so cool. Uh, um, and just like all the wildlife and the nature, and like I gotta say, like. It was hilarious, like, listening to the tour guides because it was just stuff that was just everyday stuff for them. But, like, there was literally one point where they were like, you know, as you're hiking, just kind of be mindful. Like, keep an eye out for pumas and jaguars because they are, they do live here and (laughs) they can be dangerous. And I'm like, bro, you're going to turn around and your friend's going to be there and you're going to turn around again. That motherfucker's going to be gone and you're not going to (laughs) get shit. Like Jurassic Park, just like Velociraptors. (laughs) Don't go into those tall guys. Yeah, dude, it's like Predator. (laughs) So... That was cool. We saw raccoons, which look nothing like raccoons here. Really? Interesting. Yeah, they were like they were kind of like long and skinny and like, you know, probably because they don't eat garbage. Not trash because <laughs> there's no garbage to eat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they like go running across the trail and I say I'm like, what was that? And he goes, the guy looks at me like I had three heads and he's like, that was a raccoon. He's like, you don't have raccoons back home? I'm like, we have raccoons back home, but they don't look like that and they don't move that fast. <laughs> <laughs> they roll everywhere. <laughs> yeah, basically. Wow. So we we uh we we cave we cave tube through this whole cave system which was just so cool. Like there there was one part there was a really big cave like it was a really tall cave and there was a crack in the ceiling where like the light came through and there was like a raised area and there was a tree like growing in the cave in this raised area kind of like in the sunlight. Whoa. Oh man. But like just yeah, it was so cool. That's awesome. Um and, like, just everything, like, once we got out of the city and, like, into the countryside and we could kind of see, like, what that was like, it was just, it was so beautiful. That sounds like a lot um, of fun, man. Yeah, dude, it was so much but fun. That, that, that whole trip list. in general was a lot of fun, yeah. but, yeah, I would say, I would definitely, you know, recommend, I would recommend going there at some point. I mean, I wouldn't want to live there. Like, when I was in Grand Cayman, it was, that was cool. Like, when I was there, I said, if the boat left me here, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, like, warmer climates huh don't you like island type stuff. i do yeah i do i i do but like it's funny because i i like that for a travel destination i don't think i would want to live there gotcha like, like i'm four not a big still. beach person yeah i still like i like four seasons i like the forest i like the mountains that's like what i really like if i had to like if i was gonna pick a place to live like that's kind of where i would want to live mm. i like going to like the you know, warmer climate, kind of tropical beachy areas. Like that's cool and fun, but I don't think I'd want to live there. Like I could honestly kind of care less about the ocean. Yeah. Same. So yeah. That's awesome. So Belize was probably your favorite or most unique experience for sure. That was definitely my most unique. Ex- I would say probably favorite as well. Uh, as far as like outside the United, I mean, Colorado was definitely my favorite by far overall, mm-hmm. but I would say outside the United States, I, I, I would say that was a close second. Yeah. Oh, add it to the list. Yeah. yeah. Hell I think, yeah. Hell yeah. I think yeah. one tip we could give everybody. Well. Just a tip. <clears throat> from. <laughs> wow. From. Uh, that was very organic. That was nice. Um, <laughs> from my perspective, when I went to Germany, I made it a. I mean, it was the easiest route of travel from train from Prague to Berlin. But what I've learned is don't necessarily go to the big cities. Like if you can have if you have more than a day or two, like the cities are definitely worth checking out. It's awesome. Mm-hmm. But what I enjoy most is going into the countryside of another country. Like when I was in England, you know, I did Lincoln, UK. I, I talked about it before, but Britt Chris lives there, and he lives outside of the city in like his own little village. And like he showed me his hometown. It that's so cool. Like I will do that. Like, if I go to Germany again, I'm not going to go back to Berlin. I'm not going to go to any city. I'm going to go find, like, some off-the-beaten path, like, Airbnb somewhere in the countryside and just, like, a little village. Like, that's what I'm going to do from now on. It's really cool. It, it just, like, immerses you completely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess yeah, you guys agree. don't agree with me because... No, I don't, I don't no, agree with No, actually, that. well, <laughs> I, I agree with that, and I was actually just going to say, and, you know, again, talking about Colorado and granted, like, that's you know everybody goes to Colorado for the hikes and everything so I get it but I really didn't have any interest in like the city stuff like we didn't go to Denver I mean I drove through Denver on my way in but like we didn't go to Denver we went to Manitou Springs one day which was actually that was pretty cool because that's like an older kind of town 
and there's a lot of shops and stuff, so it was smaller. But I didn't really care as much about that. I was kind of like, yo, when are we going on another hike? Like, I just I yeah. just wanted the hikes and, like, the nature and that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah, don't worry. You're not missing much in Denver. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I had this one friend who was stationed in England, so he got to travel a lot for over, like, three years. And he went to – I'll have to hit him up. But went to one place in Italy, I believe, in the Alps or somewhere. Um and it was like this really nice hotel, but it was in nature. Like it was just, it wasn't in a city. Mm. And it was like one of those awesome places you see like all these influencers post and shit. Like it had like, um, what do you call that pool with the, where like you can't see the edge? What's Infinity that? pool. Yeah. Infinity pool. Oh. Like looking oh, yeah. at the Alps. Like it was sick. That's awesome. Dude, that's so, dope. Yeah. So speaking of the Alps real quick, let's knock off some, some dream sheet items real quick. Iceland. Ooh. Yeah. Iceland. I want to go. I want to go to Iceland. Yeah. 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 I want to go to Iceland. So here's group trip. Fun fact, oh, yeah. boys. I met this guy. He's from Omaha. I sold everything he had, hiked all of Japan, uh, and then now he moved to Iceland, and he's a tour guide in Iceland, and he's a photographer. That's how I know him. Oh, I know him through that's my ex. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. So he was like, "Hey, anytime you guys want to come to Iceland, hit me up." I was like, "Hell yeah, dude. yo, what? group trip, let's yeah. do it, man." So if you guys want to go to Iceland, yeah, Iceland sounds awesome to me. I also want to go South America and Africa. I've never like I want to go I want to see like mm. Brazil and stuff like that like I feel like that's gonna be like a huge different cult like it's gonna be like a culture shock or something yeah I think I think Iceland and Ireland are probably the top two that I want to go to again well nice. next yeah how about you Randall um Norway Norway is definitely like that. Norway's awesome. freaking dope yeah. dude I've already been so I've been mm. lucky enough to have experience which there. I I realize the irony when I talk about how much I hate the cold and snow, but I definitely want to go to Norway. <laughs> no, Norway in the summertime. I went in the winter. I'd need to go back in the summer because there was waterfalls in the winter that are just beautiful. I can't imagine when all the snow is melted and how gorgeous it is. Yeah. Uh, I've like, seen awesome. some of the pictures from some of my buddies who've been over there in the summer and yeah, yeah. drop dead gorgeous. Dude, Like, and so I took a ferry ride through the fjords, which is like giant cliffs almost all around yeah. this body of water and dude seeing that in the summer when it's all green has got to be one of the prettiest things in the entire world because it was oh, yeah. it was beautiful sure. in the winter so i can't imagine the summer joey how about you real quick uh i also a big fan of the cold so i'm either thinking the nordic countries such as you know uh switzerland or norway and stuff like that it's not a nordic country but nah, okay. you know same thing <laughs> <laughs> but uh Right, and up in that northern region, and then uh, Are you Italy, of Sweden. Yes, did I say Switzerland? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you uh, oops, my bad. Yeah, Sweden. <laughs> but yeah, oh poo. Uh, but yeah, Sweden, Norway, or Italy is also at the top of the list. There, yeah. I want to see the Alps. actually. I I re- I want to change mine. Switzerland is by far my dream destination that I want to go to next. Switzerland over Iceland. Hmm. Switzerland, that'd be cool. Yeah, I have a question for everyone. Would anyone want to go to like Antarctica? Because I yeah. would love to go to Antarctica. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. That'd be like that'd the be cool. Really cool. That'd be like the coolest adventure ever. Yeah, I want to go sure. chill with some yeah. penguins. That's that's definitely a dream of mine. Yeah, exactly. Dude, we have those ski one thirties. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's There's a C one thirty cargo plane, but with skis on the tires, so they land on like icebergs. Like so, we just gonna hijack one and take it there? No, is that what you're that's not exi- that's no. not at all what I'm saying, Randy. Because you'll get shot for that. But I'm saying if you have a hookup, I mean, it'd be pretty dope. How bad is it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But so today's episode, I mean, it was just it was a lot of fun, you know, talking about our experiences and and where all we've been. It could have it maybe dragged down a little bit, but it was to me. It, we're all passionate about it. And if you ever have any like travel ideas, like send us a DM. You know, like if you want to go travel europe ask us where we've been what we recommend because i mean we didn't even nearly graze the surface of what we've all experienced over there so you know it's it's a feel-good topic so hopefully you guys uh enjoyed it and uh maybe comment on our social medias of where you've been where your favorite places are send us a dm if you want to talk about something or got any recommendations for us because we're always down yeah real quick i want to emphasize this episode wasn't us like bragging about where we've been but if anyone ever has a dream to go anywhere, just make it happen. People come up with excuses and like, oh, like maybe you have to, you're too busy with work or something. But if you want to go travel like overseas, go get your passport. That's step one. Just go get your passport, mm-hmm. and that opens all the doors for you. It's not as expensive as people make it seem to do, like seem to be. Just get that passport. Come up with like what your dream like 
places would be and just go do it. Yeah. You know what? Real quick before Send I wrap it. it up again, the main topic <laughs> of this was to like hit that reset button because, you know, you get stuck in the grind. Like here we are in Nebraska and it's been a, I mean, I love traveling a lot. So I've been here for like two months, maybe three, where I'm just kind of sitting here again, minus Colorado. But it's that reset button. Like get out, go experience something. And then when you come back, it's like a refreshing feeling. It's like, okay, I'm back home. You know, grass is always greener. So when you're here, you want to leave. And when you're out there experiencing all these fun adventures, you kind of just want to have that familiarity of home in your own bed and stuff. And when you come back, it's like, okay, that was nice. And then you have all these great experiences with you. Yeah. The world is meant to be explored. The world is your oyster. The world's your oyster. <laughs> oh, damn it. Go get your passport. <laughs> All right, guys, this has been Lessons Learned. Thank you all for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and go follow our other social media pages linked in the description. From all of us here at Lessons Learned, have a good day and see ya. See ya.